Jay Kim from the Oregon Surf Perch Fishing Club. It's Friday, September 16th, 8.40 a.m. in the morning. I want to say low tide's about 10.30, and it's actually a pretty high low tide today. It's over two feet. So looking at conditions today, I think I have very high expectations uh, based on what I looked at the tide tables. There's a very low swing from high tide to low tide. It's about two to three feet swing, and it takes place over six hours. So. Uh, trying to come back at a tidal height of you know 3.1 to 3.9 feet as my last five or six videos have said and i'm going to go straight to the south so i was here yesterday under the same conditions with joe mom uh, we had awesome action the first hour and a half and joe actually kept it up so joe ended up catching 22 uh, fish yesterday at wade yesterday and then he left went to lost creek and caught 18 more so he caught 40 fish yesterday after only catching four or five his first three trips ever why i'm hopeful today so conditions are fishing conditions are it's about 57 58 degrees swell energy is about 176 so it's better than yesterday you can see it's clear blue skies today sun shines out yesterday was so foggy i couldn't even see the uh water from here and catching conditions actually look pretty good because when the swell energy is low then it seems to bring the crashing waves close Okay, so I'm going to go south, go closer to my second landmark, because that's where I've been getting all my action. But I don't usually have these high of expectations of catching and getting action uh, when I go fishing, surf perch fishing. But uh, the last five or six trips, uh, my predictions have been pretty spot on. So I have high hopes again today. We'll see. My first landmark, and I'm going to start trying here and then move my way down south looks a little shallow here though it's just a little bit shallow for what i'd like so i'm gonna keep moving south because i uh get my cast in this is only my first cast about 10 minutes this is my fourth cast no action so i'm already disappointed i was expecting to get a bite by now uh catching conditions are all not that great because the crashing waves are way out there. There's a lot of dead water and there's these small breakers right here. Ah, there's not a lot of wave action today. So no matter where I try, the crashing waves will be there for a little bit, but then they disappear. I think I see a little bit more consistent spot, a little bit more south. So I'm going to head directly there, but uh, so far no action. My first bite well, where I moved to that new spot. But uh, it was a short burst, and then it left. So what, 15, 21 minutes to get my first bite. All right, so just had another bite. Oh, we've got a fish. So this is back to back. Oh man, I lost it, shoot. Oh, maybe not. So this is back to back uh, cast with bites. And bottom camel. So what, 20, 27 minutes, first fish. That's a lot slower than I was expecting today. I was expecting to have my fish in the first fish in the first 15 minutes. 10 and a half incher. Been here half an hour now, got in seven casts, two bites, one fish, and that's it. So it's pretty slow from what I was expecting today. Uh, normal days, I wouldn't mind, uh, but I was expecting uh, really hot action today, like the last six or seven trips. So I'm just gonna start fishing my way back to the parking lot after half an hour. On my way back to the parking lot, think silver. Top camo. Both my fish have been on camo today. You know, catching conditions weren't all that great today, which surprised me with the low energy. And I thought with the right tidal height, but I couldn't find a consistent spot that had decent crashing waves uh, on a constant basis. So that's why I'm just giving up today. Second cast back to the parking lot. Oh man, this one's fighting well. Yeah, this is a nice red tail. So this would be fish three. It says I'm quitting. Oh yeah, this one's a nice one. I don't want to stress my rod out. Uh, 
like, oh, he took the middle natural. Whoop. Almost safe. Good thing I beached him. Try not to get my rod dirty. It's like uh, 13 inches. Yeah, so this is a little more like what I was expecting in the first half an hour. So it's back to back fish, got that silver uh, 13 inch red tail. You got mud all over me. All right? Here you go. It's been about 45 minutes now that I've been here. Uh, I was taking my time walking back to the parking lot fishing when I got the two fish. So this is my third cast walking back. And regardless, I think I'm still going to keep walking out of here. Right after my 13 incher, I had another good bite. So this would be three casts in a row now where uh, I've had bites, but that did last, but this last one after my 13 incher, man, that was a good bite. I can't believe I didn't get a hookup on that one. Stay between my first and second landmarks right now because I was walking out, but this is where I've had uh, some decent action. They're not instantaneous bites. In other words, you gotta let the bait sit there for a while, but again, the last two bites were a monster. So, I've been spending the last 10 minutes talking to this uh, gentleman. His name is Chris. He's from British Columbia. Uh, he just started coming up and talking to me. But I actually had uh, a bite while I was talking to him. So that would have been three casts, four casts in a row with bites. So um, that bite I was talking to him was right after those two big bites. But uh, I've been here an hour now, so I'm just going to bag it. So I probably could have eked out more fish. If I had been willing to put in the time and the energy today, but I was expecting immediate action and monster action right off the bat. So it's funny because yesterday I got two red tails and a silver. And today I got two red tails and a silver. And my red tail was much bigger today than yesterday. So, you know, I had the same amount of fish as yesterday, but I can tell you I'm so much more disappointed in today's fishing than yesterday, even though I caught the same amount of fish because I was expecting a banner day. And again, it just comes down to what your expectations are when you're fishing. My normal expectation is today's day would have been very, I would have been very satisfied with today on a normal day because I have low expectations normally when I come surf perch fishing. But because of my tidal height theory working, you know, so consistently the last six, seven, eight trips, I was for sure expecting to find my first fish in the next I was expecting to find my first fish in the first you know five ten minutes and it took me 21 minutes to get a bite and I got my first fish at 27 so that's the reason why I decided to just quit and wrap it up uh, because I was expecting much better action so at the end as I was walking back to the parking lot and I got uh, some decent bites actually I had two monster bites and a 13 inch red tail was a nice size so I might take one more cast. I'm just hitting, no, I'm not even hitting my first landmark yet. So, and again, as you come up more towards my first landmark, it gets really shallow. So, you know, there's some breaking waves here, but it's very shallow all the way out there. All right, so I'm gonna call it quits because I'm not very motivated to fish today. You know, normally uh, I would chase down fish and go after them. But after my expectations of having a really fast start and continuous action weren't met, I decided to just hang it up. So again, I got three fish, been here an hour. I got seven or eight casts down uh, south of my second landmark before I decided to walk back to the parking lot. And I'm guessing I got about four or five casts walking back to the parking lot. And in those four or five casts, I got like four bites and I got that 13 inch red tail, got that dink silver, and I had two or three other bites as well. So again, walking back to the parking lot, it was my best action. Uh, and it was like at about a 10 or 15 minute span. You know, so overall, it was a good day. It was only because I had such high expectations and I'm kind of disappointed. So again, I caught the same amount of fish I did yesterday. And yesterday I was very happy with the action. So again, it just depends on what your expectations are for when you're fishing. Normally mine are very low, but I just got a little too cocky today. Okay, that's it for today. Don't know when I'm coming back out.